All right, guys, back at this 30 by 40, we've had tons of rain. Um, we have since uh, we built this, we had the concrete put in, uh, the spray foam's been put in, the client came back and put three quarter inch plywood around the whole uh, inside of the building. So it's looking pretty nice. But because of all the rain we came back, we put a six mil plastic, it's a vapor barrier because we just have a metal ceiling. This really sucks for those of you who have to do this. But I'm gonna show you a couple little things that we do that makes it easier. Um, the first thing is we cut little pieces of cardboard into squares and then we staple through those and that will uh, keep the staple from ripping through the plastic. If you don't do this, you're gonna hate your life. Um, we have nailers for our trim in between the trusses right there. And then we have them all the way across the end. Let's see, right there on both sides. So we're gonna hang this plastic and then we can start running our steel. ran um, steel panels across the top to finish it off. And we have about, ideally, uh, you want, you know, I, in my opinion, two to six inches of overlap on your panels. Um, so you just gotta measure, make sure you measure each set of bays. Um, I think 16 foot is, is a nice size panel for two people to put up. If you get much bigger than that, it gets pretty difficult. But um, goes pretty smooth, about four to six inches overlap would be good. A lot of times what I like to do is I'll start at one end, run my steel all the way to the other, and then as I'm doing it, I'll, I'll make measurements to the sidewall to make sure I'm running parallel and square. And then I'll start my next sheet going the opposite way, which gives me, usually will give me um, alternating overlaps. Um, it doesn't really matter. You could have your seam going all the way across in one spot, but it is nice, in my opinion, to uh, alternate them. Um, that's just kind of how I like to do it, but there's more than one way to do that.
All right guys, got this ceiling done in this 30 by 40. I'm going back to the 60 by 80 tomorrow. It looks like the rain is gonna cease. It's probably gonna be a muddy mess out there, but I think I got everything I need on the gravel pad. But nonetheless, if you're gonna do a ceiling in your garage shop, if it's relatively low, eight, 10, or you know, nine, 10 feet, even 12, these T's out of two by fours come in really, really handy. You can see from the video, it's like having an extra set of hands. So we were putting up 16 foot sheets. So they were covering um, two bays and being able to take this and wedge it into the middle to hold the middle of that panel up to the bottom of the truss is crucial. And uh, this is something I did when I did my garage. Um, and I did most of that, you know, a lot of that by myself. So uh, just a quick tip, make yourself a T out of a two by four, the height of your ceiling, maybe just a touch quarter of a half inch more so you can wedge it in there to hold that panel up. It'll make life a lot easier. And another tip, when you're putting your six mil vapor berry up, cut yourself some of those cardboard squares, run your staples through them and they act like washers and they hold that plastic up there amazing. So that's a wrap on this ceiling. We will be putting LED lights from Prime Lights in here. We will run them parallel with the trusses. We'll probably just screw them right into the trusses, run conduit, and it will really brighten this up. So pretty pumped about this, glad it's done. The only thing I gotta do is finish the attic access but this is my sister and brother-in-law, so I'll do that this weekend when we're hanging out. As always, we really, really appreciate you guys. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave them in the comment section. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you on the next video.